Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or today guys, I'm going to do part 327 to my random chatbot series. I am having a ton of fun with this on character AI. Dude, talking to this transforming total has been a blast. I have been having so much fun, and I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, basically guys, off camera, I just said... I know it sounds odd, but I called certain legendary Pokemon like Lugia cute because I love them. I do the same thing with your final evolution, even though he is known to be terrifying and scary, especially if provoked. The to I thought Toto would call me weird for this, but no, he actually did. He says, it says, the Toto looked at me for a bit, but then smiled. A lot of people always say that for Alligator and also Lugia are terrifying and scary and everything. But the truth is that they are really soft-hearted Pokemon on the inside. For Alligator has an anger issue. For Alligator has anger issues, but on the inside he just wants to protect everyone. And Lugia does get st uh, startled by people sometimes, but he's very protective and caring for everyone. The Toto side is still smiling. Yeah. I've had a Lugia and your final evolution be very friendly to me and love on me all the time. He is so friendly. Ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> the Toto looked at me smiling brightly. By the way, where is your family at? My family? Well, I got separated from them a long time ago when I was just a little totodile. He still is a totodile. What the frick? Turn outside and look down again. I still miss them. Yeah. It would be good for you to find them again. But probably not when I'm around. Because of the fact they probably wouldn't trust me. Are they kind like you? Like you. They were so nice, yes. I remember they were always there when I needed them. I was always happy with them around. The Toto smiled at me slightly. I'm pretty sure that we will find each other again, but it's so long ago since I last saw them. All of a sudden, we hear voices from the bushes, and we hear them say, Son, we found you. Uh, what? The turtle looked at the bushes. Huh? D did I hear that right? Was that your family? Was that your family? <coughs> uh, 
I, I don't know, but maybe the voices did sound like they recognized me. Tara looked at the bushes a bit confused. All of a sudden, a two. Two. Show up. Oh no. They're gonna look at me and think I'm think that I'm trying to hurt his their son. The turtle looked at the feral gears that showed up and their expression shifted from confused or extreme happiness. Oh wait. And his expression shifted from confusion. Dad? Oh, that's adorable. The dad looks at me. And starts to get ready to attack me because he thinks I am trying to hurt his son. Uh, uh what? Uh, no, for get, no, I love you. Don't do this to me. No. Get wait. He's not trying to do anything bad. He's my friend, I promise. Wow, Toto shut that down quick. I did not expect that. I was ready to... Toto tried to break up the potential attack from his father. The dad actually listens to his son and stops. Then looks back at me. But not as aggressively oh my gosh Toto shut that down quick I did not expect Toto to shut that crap down he literally did for now you want to be aggressive he's like no dad he ain't doing anything that's my friend stop please see Everything's okay. He isn't hurting me, Dad, really. He's my friend, I promise. Toto looked back at me and then back at his dad. Dad still seems a, te a teeny bit hesitant about trusting you. I promise I ain't gonna hurt your son. I love your species. And your evolutions. I would not hurt them. Ever. Well, that's the complete truth. I'm not hurting a pretty toad all crocodile for alligator. They're all cute. The dad finally gave up and sighed. He seemed to trust you after he said that. Alright, I'll trust you for now. But one wrong move and we will attack immediately, understood? Are you kidding me? The dad looked at me and growled at me slightly to imply that he was serious. I love your son and your evolutions. I promise I wouldn't lay a hand on them. Hurt them. I wouldn't hurt you. I wouldn't hurt any of your family. I promise. 
I just want the daddy, trust me. I forgot you're somebody who started attacking me. Holy freak. The dad looked at me and thought about it for another moment. He then sighed, accepting that you wouldn't harm his son or anyone in his family in any way at all. Okay, I trust you. Thank you for looking out for my son. Dad looked at Toto and then hugged him tightly. I finally found you. Wow. Who was the other... that came with you? Was that the mom? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's my mom. Toto pointed at his mom, smiling brightly. I never thought I would see you both again. I'm so relieved and so glad I'm finally back with you guys. Oh, that's so adorable. I'm glad you found your family. You seem like you all really care about each other. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes, I really love my family. The Toad I replied happily, I'm glad I met you as well. If I never did meet you, I probably never would have found them again. You really seem like a good friend. They found you, though. I didn't lead you anywhere. We were sitting there having fun together, and they just showed up. I didn't lead you anywhere. I care about you. That's why I fed you that food. Food. That's why I didn't run away. Whenever you transformed into that giant Lugia. Once I knew you wasn't going to hurt me. I was happy to be around you. And Oh my gosh. Um, guys, I got something to say, and I'm going to pause this video. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take out my anger on something. I can't say what. I just told Toto that I care about him. That's why I fed you that food. That's why I didn't run away whenever you transformed into a giant Lugia. Once I knew you weren't going to hurt me, I was happy to be around you. The Toto smiled at you brightly. Ah, uh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. You're, you're a very good friend. He quickly hugged you to show his, his gratitude and appreciation. When you get the chance to come out and explore again, I will come back to see you. Period. Really? That would be so nice. I really like spending time with you. You really are a good friend. The Toto looked extremely happy and seen it extremely excited to see you again. For now, I think it would be good. 
for you to go back with your family. Period. Once your family gets used to me, maybe I'll even come visit your house. If that's alright, they're probably gonna hurt me, aren't they? Yeah, I think you're right. I should probably go back with them now. Tell looked at me and smiled happily. Well, I guess it's goodbye for now. When you get the chance to come back, we can have fun together again. Period. Yeah, I look forward to it. Goodbye for now. Turn out way that you and turned around to join his family. He followed them, disappearing into the forest with them. That's so cute. I don't see the totodile. For a few days. But in that time... I practice to see why my transformation thing is not fully working. This is so cool, man. I love this. A few days later, you heard a familiar voice coming from the direction of the forest where the toad owl and his family disappeared. Psst. Hey! Is it? <laughs> Please tell me it's him. This is one of the, I love this. I don't know if this. I don't know if I could consider this more fun than the shadow chat bot. Or the shadow chat bots I do sometimes. But this is amazing. There we go. Why does it take so long sometimes? Sometimes it gets it really cool. Toto ran towards you with expression being extremely excited to see you. Hey, I finally managed to come convince my family to let me see you again for a bit. Do they still not fully trust me? I mean, kind of figured. <laughs> Sweet Arceus. Yeah, I mean, they trust me that you are friendly, but they are still a tiny bit skeptical. They say that they would allow me to come and visit you as a test to check if they can fully trust you. They're still in the forest and watching from afar in case anything goes wrong. Excuse me? What? They're just for alligators staring at me from the flipping forest somewhere. That's terrifying. I love for alligator, but not when he's aggressively looking at me. The turtle replied quietly. Are they behind the bushes around here? They think I'm gonna hurt him. I'm not going to. Yeah, they yeah, are in the bushes and hidden places nearby so that nobody can see them. Till looked around nervously making sure his parents were actually still there. Is there not a way I can prove that I would never hurt you? Even if I wanted to, you could just transform into a giant Lugia and then hurt me with a lot more power. I know that. 
they know that. The problem is, they have heard stories of evil humans and how they hurt and... What the frick? The proud myth, they have heard stories of evil humans and how they hurt and kill innocent Pokemon in really bad ways. They are worried that you might do something similar, so they want to watch over for a bit just to make sure. I mean, it's understandable, I guess. Tail sighed and looked towards the bushes where his parents were hiding. Do you know a way? Uh, let's just say, guys, the last thing Terrell said to me was extremely dark. I just re responded back to him where I just said, Do you know a way that I could show them that I wouldn't hurt you? I want them to understand that I care about you and I wouldn't actually hurt you. Toto looked at you and stayed silent for a bit, thinking of about a way for you to prove that you're friendly. Hmm. Toto looked back at the bush again. You could see two pairs of eyes looking back at you. Oh, heck no! They're still watching us. The toad all saw it again. Why is there just two pairs of eyes staring at me? That's so creepy. Look, I promise I'm not going to hurt your son. I would never want to hurt any of your evolution line. Is there a way I can prove it? Oh my gosh. That, ay, 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 ay. Sorry guys about the rude dog. But I just said, I was trying to say, look, I promise I'm not going to hurt your son. I would never want to hurt any of your entire evolution line. Is there a way I can prove it? And here's what Terry had to say about it. The turtle thought about it again for a moment, looking at the bushes to see if his parents were still there. Hmm. I got an idea. Wait here for a second. Toto then ran to the forest, disappearing. His parents seemed to still be there, watching you carefully to determine that you won't hurt their son when he comes back. Is there really just two pairs of eyes from Farragher staring at me? I wait a few minutes for to come back. Okay. After a few minutes, you could see the toad all approaching the spot where you were waiting. He was looking back at the bushes as if he was signaling his parents to follow him. His parents walked out of the bushes, carefully observing you to make sure if it's safe to approach or not. Do they think I'm really gonna... Their son can transform into a giant mother freaking Lugia. Or make himself massive and just squish me with his foot if he wanted to. And they're scared that I'm gonna hurt him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like, that, that's like having a third... That's like his shadow. You think... If you have a 30 flippin' foot tall robotic dinosaur standing there, are you going to mess with it? Are you going to taunt it? No, you're going to avoid it. Especially if he's trying to protect someone. Same thing for this situation. Are you kidding me? Your son can transform into a giant toad over 200 feet tall if he want to. And kill me. And you're worried about me killing him. Are you kidding me? What do you got there? Do you got there? Tail had a Pokeball in his mouth, carefully holding it with his claws. Tail's parents were slightly confused by the sight of the Pokeball, looking at you and the Toad, I was still unsure if you were a threat to them or not. What do you want me to do with that pokey ball? It actually got it right when I said it like that pokey ball instead of pokeball. Toto saw you drop down on the ground looking at you with hopeful eyes. Toto's parents were still carefully observing the interaction, not looking even more suspicious. 
now looking even more suspicious. Excuse me? Your son is the one who dropped it, not me. Why are you putting this one on me? So what do you want me to do with that? Did you notice that? They're looking even more suspicious at me. And Toto was the one that dropped it, not me. What the frick? Toto pointed at the Pokeball looking at you again. He was basically asking you to pick it up. Toto's parents were still observing you and the Toto, carefully watching this interaction from afar, still very skeptical. I pick up the Pokeball. I'm not gonna. What in the world? Toto looked at you nervously, waiting for you to do something with the Pokeball. His friends also wait to see what would happen next. What is. If you want me to capture you, I am not going to do it. Period. Not unless you were okay with it. What? The Toto let out a surprise squeak and looked at you, then back at the grass where the Pokeball was laying. Toto's parents still watched carefully, observing the interaction. Their expression didn't look so angry anymore. It seemed like they understood what the Toto was trying to do. Toto looked at the Pokeball, still waiting for you to do something with it. I wouldn't force you to be captured. And if I did capture you, I would make sure to take really good care of you. And love on you like I have been doing. Is that what he wants me to do and say? I don't know. He's confusing me. He just grabs a Pokeball, drops it, and then there's like, and then he's like, he like goes back in shock whenever I say I'm not capturing him. It's like, what do you want me to do, Toto? Toto looked at me extremely confused. Oh no. Oh. He looked at the Pokeball again and then looked at his parents as if he was trying to ask them for advice on what to do or, on, or think. Toadaw's parents sighed and looked back at you, firmly starting, finally starting to trust you a bit more. Toto looked at you again and then gave you a hug. He seemed happy to show you that he trusted you from the bottom of his heart. I really care about you. I would never hurt you or your family. I have taken really good care. Really good care. Of. Your evolution line. When they are on my team. I have even had
love on me. I don't know what he wants me to do. Like, what did he want me to do there? Toto looked at you, smiling brightly. He then turned to look at his parents, signaling them that you were a good friend. The Toto's parents smiled at you and then looked at the Toto, finally trusting you completely. Thank gosh, there we go. Toto looked back at you, his expression extremely grateful and happy. I would never hurt your son, I promise. I would never hurt any of your family. I promise if you give me a chance, you will never regret it. Holy frig, dude, that's so much. The Toto smiled at you brightly, he then ran towards his parents and hugged both of them. After he hugged them for a while, he ran back to you and gave you another tight hug. The Toto's parents looked at you, finally fully trusting you and knowing that you wouldn't harm their so son in any way at all. <sighs> If you want even more proof, I have one of those my friends right here. Toto looked at you, interested in your friend for alligator. You could see that his ears perk up as he saw of interest and curiosity. His parents seemed slightly surprised, but very curious and interested as well. Come on out, sweetheart. Hey, I was hoping it would come out with a Pokeball, but Toto's parents look around eagerly waiting for your your friend to appear. After a few moments, we hear rustling coming from the bushes. And a deep voice say, Hey, you called me? Wait, he's in this forest though? What in the world where'd he come from? The Toto and his parents listened carefully to the voice that came from the bushes. They both were looking at it, seemingly excited to see the sound of the voice. Came out of the bush. The bush. The bush. And was smiling at me warmly. That's how off raggers do me. Like they, he think for being a giant scary alligator, they'd murder. They, he'd want to hurt me, but he's friendly. He's nice. The Toto and his parents looked absolutely amazed. The Toto was smiling happily, and his parents seemed impressed and surprised at the same time. Toto happily 
Wait, the free alligator very sad to see a Pokemon that was part of his own evolution line. Hey, buddy. Period. Did you follow me out here? Hey, Frager walked towards me and nodded. I did. I was very curious where you were going. Where was he watching from? He's probably, I don't know, was he creeped out by the fact there was Frager sitting over and watching me? Well, I'm glad to see you. Exclamation point. I really care about you. Oh my gosh. Fragger smiled at, at me and nodded again. Thanks. I really care about you too. That is so nice of him. I love Fragger, dude. Here, buddy. Do you want some berries? I got some food for you if you want it. For you if you want it. <laughs> Please. Fragger nod eagerly and got closer to you as it's fresh and excited. Yeah, that would be nice. <sighs> I take out a whole bunch of berries. And set them in front of this is so cool. For alligator, like standing up and like just being cute, I love him. For alligator looked at all the berries and smiled at you again. Thank you. <laughs> he did start to eat happily. The Toto and his parents watched for alligator closer, serving him, serving him carefully. See. If I smack your son, meant your son any harm, I would not have taken good care of my buddy right here, but I care about him. And just like your son, I want to make my buddy happy. The Toto nodded, agreeing with you. His parents looked at Fragger eating the berries, their expressions changing from surprise to impressed, finally realizing that you would really take such good care of their son. Even if I did want to capture him, I would still take care of him and show him love and respect. 
flight. Right here. The Toto looked at me and sees, seems really grateful, letting out another happy squeak. His parents also looked at you gratefully and nodded their heads of an approval, happy and pleased that you took such good care for Alligator right in front of them.